Hello everyone and welcome to the Ponderosa Life. This is the last week of spring so I decided that with the horses I was going to do a spring wrap-up video for the week. I wanted to find anything that nature provided that was beautiful and hopefully bright and just decorate the horses with some flowers and I'm starting with Dream. I braided her hair before I brought her out and I thought it would make it easier for me to put the flowers in her hair. My biggest challenge is the flies. Flies are terrible biting creatures and they just made it to where it was hard to do one to keep the horses still and two to keep the horses from shaking the flowers out of their mane. I was able to get a dandelion in Dream's mane. It came out so pretty. And then I found an apple on the ground that came from our apple tree. And I rolled it over to Dream and I gave it to her as a lovely surprise, which she loved. And then I wondered if she would actually be able to sniff out the apple tree by herself. Yep, she found the apple tree with no trouble at all. I do believe Thelma, our German Shepherd, is wondering why Dream finds this so interesting. And of course she's super playful. I have had people ask me in the past, why do I let my dogs loose when I am working with my horses? Some people have even told me to make sure I put my dogs away while I'm working with my horses. But I actually like the dogs being out. First, it teaches the horses that dogs aren't a real threat, even though dogs can be a threat. Um, they just familiarize the horses with dogs. And I also like it when the dogs jump ahead and run after things in the woods because to me it just teaches the horses that things can just jump out of places and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's dangerous. Thelma trying an apple out for herself and I don't think she's impressed as much as Dream. And now the real decorating begins. I'm just gathering flowers that are growing along the yard and on the side of the pasture and putting it in her mane as best as I can while she is enjoying some fresh grass. Let's see how it turned out. And I think it's just gorgeous. She looks like she's ready for a parade to show off her beautiful flowers in her mane. Okay, and now it's been a couple of days and it's time for Fabio. I didn't really want to put flowers in Fabio's hair because Fabio is a man and he deserved a little something more manly. So I tried to make a braided headband or crown, because you know, Fabio's also a prince. 
with this sage grass. Sage grass, it grows very, very tall and horses absolutely love it, but it's not the best thing to feed horses because it is very high in sugar. I believe it's related to corn. I have never done this before, but I just started braiding it and then I just looped it together the best I could and tied it together with some extra grass and here we go. Now I put it on Fabio. Let's see how long it lasts. Well, that didn't last long at all. So I had to do a little altercation from a crown to more like a headband. Yeah, I think Fabio turned out to be more like a hippie bro. So here we go with Fabio and we're just gonna go for a short little walk in the woods. Again, the flies were really bad and very, very pestery. I don't like taking them very far because it just seems like the further I go out in the woods, the worse the flies get. And just like you saw there, the dogs whipped ahead of us because there was a squirrel and look Fabio, nice and calm. When I first started walking them like this and the dogs would do that, the horses would spook. So to me, that's why I like having the dogs out. But doesn't Fabio look good with his little headband? When I got here, I noticed that, you know, it's kind of drooping in his eyes. So I just tried to pick it up a little and I was able to wrap it around his halter, which was much better because it kept it from falling so low on his face. But I do believe he looks like he came right out of the 70s. He has a bohemian soul. the corner I noticed wild blackberries which I got very excited about I thought Fabio was gonna try some but he didn't but those are gonna be some delicious summer treats so here is something that Fabio has always done he has always sniffed the ground as he walks so maybe I shouldn't have had the dogs walk everywhere with us maybe that's something he's learned from them It always makes me think of the horse from the Disney show, Tangled. All right, as a reward, you can now eat your crown. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but I think that was Fabio's favorite part of the whole walk. On the last day of the week, Catalina got to take her last spring walk of 2023. Here is Catalina before. I definitely was nervous on this day about how her hair was going to turn out and how I was going to be able to keep the flowers in it because the flies were twice as bad now than they were at the beginning of the week, which is the telltale sign of summer.
Catalina is such a sweetheart. She is tender and kind, timid, but always teaching me that just because you're gentle does not mean you are weak. And as you can see, the flies are really bothering her. So as I was gathering the flowers to put in her mane, I was trying to decide how I was going to do it. I was going to try to braid her hair, but she was just shaking her head so much that I couldn't get a braid in. So I decided that I was going to put these Queen's Anne's Lace and these other little flowers. I don't know what they're called, but they have these really pretty yellow centers. And I'm just going to do the best I can just placing them in her mane and hoping they will stay. I mean, after all, I'm always pulling hay out of their hair. And this is what I came out with. It held a little bit better than I thought it would, but of course, because I'm not actually using anything to hold it in there, it's literally just her hair holding the stems of the flowers together. But for a beautiful, beautiful moment, she looked like a maid of honor getting ready to go to a wedding. And this flower right here, I wanted it to be in the center of her forelock, but I just couldn't get it right. <laughs> Say, well, that didn't last long. I hope you guys really enjoyed following along with us for our wrapping up spring 2023. I know I had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you again next time. Bye.